What is up, guys? My name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to YRC Vlog. Guys, today we are bringing back Tech Tuesday. I know I haven't done a lot of Tech Tuesday recently because I've got a lot of vlogs to do, but I want to help people, and I really enjoy hearing people getting help from my channel. So back to Tech Tuesday, and today we're going to address something that a lot of people probably don't know, but it happens pretty often. So let's take a look at it. Guys, this happened last night. Oh, that bothers me. This is my hoss. Oh, I decided to test drive it without the body on and it had too much brake. And it went skidding upside down without a body. God, that bothers me so bad. It's really not even that bad, but it bothers me real bad. So have you ever been driving your car and just noticed like it's abnormally loud? Like it almost sounds like a gas engine, but it's not. It's an electric car, but it's like, it's almost like mechanical grinding. I'm gonna show you what it is. Nine times out of 10, this is what it is, but I'll show you what I'm talking about first. There you go, did y'all hear that? You can't hear it now because the mic's turned around, but basically it's like a it's like a clipping noise. It's almost like the gears aren't meshed right or there's something in the gear or it's just grinding, but it doesn't sound good. And it can be super annoying when you're going fast. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it is. Again, nine times out of 10, this is what it is. But a lot of people don't know this, so hopefully this helps somebody. So that noise is a result of one of three things. The first thing is you could have not meshed your car right or your motor moved and the gear mesh isn't right. Um, two, it could be something in your gears, like maybe a piece of dirt or rock somehow got in the gear or some plastic, maybe sharded or sharded? <laughs> Did I just say sharded? Sharded is actually a term in programming related to databases, but a piece of plastic could have got in the gears making that noise. Or the last one is you probably ripped some teeth off of your spur gear or your pinion. So how that usually happens is you over tighten your spur gear or your slipper clutch, or you're running too thick of dip fluid in the middle, something like that. But we're gonna take this thing apart and see what mine looks like. So I'm pretty sure it's something like that and that noise bothers the heck out of me. All right, so I took it out. This is the center diff. It's actually not a diff. It's a straight gear with a slipper clutch on it. Um, but this is the spur gear and I, you can see, hopefully you can see, there's a lot of like grinding. A lot of these, te those teeth are actually missing. Um, so the spur gear is all chewed up. So that's what's causing all the noise. A lot of times you might even see like little plastic pieces between the teeth. Sometimes you can get that out and the noise goes away. But I'm just gonna replace the spur gear I actually, I was actually running it. I ran this thing last night. This is actually my Stampede 4x4. I ran this thing last night and I feel like I had the slipper too loose because it wasn't pulling wheelies. No, it's pretty lame, but it wasn't pulling wheelies like I expect. So I am going to replace the spur and then put a super duper tight, I'm gonna tighten down the uh, slipper clutch so we can pull wheelies again because wheelies are cool. All right, guys, I got it all installed. No more noises. Oh, it's so smooth. That's all it needed was new gears. Sometimes when you replace the gears, it just turns it into a whole new car and it's it's like new again. I love it. Oh, and it's pulling wheelies again. I love this Stampede 4x4. With that said, I might I might sell it. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but if I have a Haas, I don't know if I need a, a Stampede 4x4, but I don't know. We'll keep it for a little bit longer. Anyways, there's one thing I did not mention is the other thing that it could be if there's a lot of noise are bent drive shafts. Um, this car in particular has plastic drive shafts, so there wasn't anything to bend there. It does have a center drive shaft and that could have been it. And the way you can tell is on the center drive shaft, at least on a Stampede 4x4, is there's gonna be some rubbing. Um, you'll see like rubbing on the center drive shaft itself. So that could be it. But yeah, I hope that helps guys. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.